Hi everyone. Hi. So um, the three uh, biomimicry cards that kind of speak to my role um, within the whole local peace economy is I have cultivate cooperative relationships like the mushroom. Um, be resourceful and efficient, both in materials and energy, um, so filtering, and then evolve to survive, so adapting to the changing um, circumstances and situations. So it was really appropriate, this whole like biomimicry idea, and the, um, the image of the mushroom kept coming back because it's this fruiting body that works within a network that connects roots and with trees. And it's part of the mycelium web that Jody and Jana were talking about. And the mycelium web is this cooperative, collective, um, um, nutrient and information sharing um, pathways that just reach far and wide. And so it couldn't really describe more beautifully and perfectly what it is that we're trying to do. And there's two ways um, specifically that we're looking to target over the next year um, that are like what we're aiming for. And one of those things is to nourish the leaders and the entrepreneurs and the visionaries that are already out there doing the work, nourishing what they do and ways that we can do that are one to highlight them on the website so that other people in far reaching places and also people within their local communities can see what, where the bar is set, what's being out there, what are the possibilities. And so these leaders can also engage together um, by seeing what they're doing. So that's one way is to nourish the people that are already doing the work and honoring that. And then also a second way is connecting them to the people within their communities, people that are inspired by the work that these leaders are doing and saying, hey, I want to partner with you. And other ways that we're beginning to nourish those things and have to continue to do those is by connecting allies, not only to other allies, but allies to local leaders that are already doing the work and showing these um, leaders and these allies these pathways and creating new pathways so that people can emerge to really take ownership and get to know what the needs are of their communities and also be inspired by the legwork and the models of other communities. And so all of this, is under this big, large umbrella that we're talking about, the, the code pink sort of feminine energy that we bring along with the, uh, you know, the, the understanding that we are part of this complex web. We are part of this living organism. We're not just this, we're not in bunkers, you know, we're on these arcs together. And so it's the feminine energy combined with the environmental that's giving birth to this new pathway, this new movement. And it's not just a movement that's about shareables and clicking things and, and even though that is part of it, but it's actually about change, real change and making sure that people understand that you have the power to change it and the way that you have power are through these collective experiences that you're having within your communities. So we mapped out sort of more or less what this movement looks like in five years and so in five years, you know, just close your eyes and imagine these people, everyone is empowered. They know their neighbors, they know what their communities need, and they feel so empowered that they go to their local city councils and they say, hey, we want to be able to have an input. We want agency over how our communities are spending money. We know what we need. We're connected not only to our own local communities and the leaders and shakers that are already doing this, but we see examples of this happening throughout the country. And there's already examples of that happening um, in Vallejo, California, for example. Between 2010 and 2012, the community decided how they were going to spend $3 billion in their community. They knew what they needed. They used that money for things like solar-powered bike lanes. And so those are the kind of models that we want to begin to plug local leaders and also other people into so that they can see that's what works and that we have the power to do that. And by creating those pathways, we're going to create a movement that's stronger than Washington, that's stronger than, you know, these bullshit sort of um, resolutions and things that aren't really working for anyone and we can't see tangible results. And, you know, collectively, we are trying to see diverse um, movements that move across um, both age and um, color 
and you know and bringing and and the way that we're going to do that really is through amplifying this through our website and making useful tools for people and so my job is to create um, these pathways you know to allies to their local community members and then also to um, you know the people that maybe don't know where to start but to connect them to something within their communities that they can begin to create that power together and information sharing. Yay! Yay.